My name's Jay Burburn. I am 13 and I play electric guitar. I've been playing since I was eight, so nearly five years. The electric guitar I chose because my father had guitars lying around in the house and I used to pick them up and play around with them. I learnt guitar off YouTube. Then I got a teacher and my guitar mentor, Simon Gardner, pretty much then taught me sort of everything I know on guitar to this point. The guitar, I feel, is an extension of my brain. When I play guitar, I feel a sense of belonging and it feels a bit like a light guiding me through the darkness of life, all different things. It just seems to always be there for me and I'm very reliant on it. The guitar is something that really needs to connect with the player. For example, Jimi Hendrix and his Strat, they were a classic combo. Wherever he was, he was with um, one of his Strats and I feel like a guitarist has a bond with their guitar, much like a human has a bond with a dog. Sometimes the bond can be instantaneous, like with me and Bernie. Bernie is a Charvel Sandemus, and it's in the sunburn finish. If you take your fingers along here, you can actually feel the indents in Bernie. And the reason I named it Bernie was because my grandma had a German shepherd named Bernie who sadly passed away. As a puppy, she was known as Girl on Fire and I feel that this guitar is sort of reminiscent of something on fire. I really enjoy working with this guitar because it has a very different sound to any guitar I've owned. It's got a really nice PAF Pro in the neck pickup and a really hot, high output, super distortion in the bridge pickup. And the combination of these two pickups really creates an amazing sound for me. Dogs is sort of the second thing from guitar. I have a beautiful puppy named Eddie and he is just the most beautiful fluff ball. He loves everyone, he loves life and I think that humans can learn a lot from dogs. I love you. At home, I practice about three hours a day on average, and my rehearsals at Music Air happen every week. <laughs> at Music Air, I play music with Asha, who is the recording genius, and DJ, who is my project manager and a really, really good drummer. Jay Bird's musical talent is like nothing I've ever experienced. In over 20 years of playing professionally, I've never met someone who is just so connected to their instrument and just a natural at what she does. It's incredible. So in a typical rehearsal, uh, Jay Bird will come and she would have written a new riff or a new complete song that she wants us to, to bring to life. And she'll say, I've got this great lead uh, idea for this and then she'll just start shredding and she'll do the entire thing and then she'll finish and she'll go what do you think and I'll say I, I don't even know where to begin like it was so amazing it says I know exactly what I want you to do she's got such a clear picture in her mind it's like a painting you know her songs like something she can see I guess that the little the tricks and riffs and and licks that she pulls out on that guitar is something that I've noticed guitarists can spend hours in their bedroom trying to master and not be able to get it. And yet we can sit in the studio and I'll say, do a dive bomb, and she does one. And I'll say, do some of that sweep picking, and she just does it. And to only be playing for four years and to be able to do this incredible virtuoso technique, it's, it's an old soul. She's a natural. I'm working on my first ever EP and after that I plan to continue songwriting and continue making music and pushing the boundaries of what guitar is. That guitar and Jaybird is one. I have no doubt that Jaybird will become one of the greatest guitarists that has ever lived. I mean she's already one of the greatest guitarists I've ever heard or seen in my life, bar none. And I truly believe that she will in time become a living legend. Yeah.